Good boy. So, Theo. A rescue dog from, I think it's Romania, I'm not entirely sure, but it will be one of those uh, very, very effective, supportive charities that work with a number of different countries. Uh, why have we got him? He is an aggressive dog. Now, why is he an aggressive dog? Because he isn't actually an aggressive dog. What you'll find is there's really not many out there in the world today instinctively horrible, nasty, villainous, devious, aggressive dogs. So why is he perceived as an aggressive dog? Because he bites people and he bites dogs and other animals. Well then why isn't he aggressive? Because he does it out of fear. He is absolutely petrified of everything. So what he does, he flicks straight into self-preservation mode and he will attack first before the leaf, the squirrel, the bin bag, the postman, the Bichon Freeze in the park. The anything has the opportunity to attack him. So his natural fight or flight or his natural go-to behaviour is I'm going to win this fight even before it even starts. So, quite rightly, he's come to us with a muzzle on and been working with him for the last day or two. And how are we going to do it? It all boils down to patience and time. We have to have patience and time when we're dealing with psychological trauma when we're dealing with psychological hurdles or barriers that we need to help a dog get over. Now, two days ago, I couldn't go anywhere near him because I was a stranger. And he headbutted me numerous amounts of times with his muzzle on, attempting to bite me because I'm a stranger. I'm new in his surroundings and I'm new in his environment and I'm new in his world. So to make me go away and give him the space that he desired to process his fear he attempted to use force for that to happen however it didn't happen and because it didn't happen and we've persevered and we've taken patience and time to coach him through the fact of we're nothing to be scared of we are now at the point where we can do this but if you see i've not looked at him once I've not made eye contact with him once, I've not given a hand once, I've not offered a stroke, I've not offered anything to him. Because the last thing that we want to do is put him under any form of pressure whatsoever. So this isn't about, you know, let's get a lead on him and let's, you know, start leading him through with elements of whatever you want to call it. He has to be allowed to make every single decision and we're going to allow him to do that because if he's thinking and processing it's gaining confidence but the only uh, restraint or the only rule to this method is he has to do it around me hence why we've got him on a lead so he sees comfort and pleasure and positivity in being rewarded and being challenged and given jobs and given different tasks around humans so he sees them as a benefit, not a threat. So from going to want to bite me, we're now quite good friends because I've offered him food, we've ham fed him. He didn't take it because he was too scared, but it took us time with it, tossing it on the floor so we're not overbearing him with hands around his face and his head. It took time for him to get to this stage. So I've said it before, if you are going to rescue an animal from a very, very good uh, rehoming, supporting charity from a different country, you have to have the time and the patience to dedicate to rehabilitate these dogs. It's not dog training. It's full-on rehabilitation that takes months and months and months. Because if you think back to it, 
What was his life like on the streets of Romania? How did he defend himself? How did he protect himself? How did he eat? How did he find food? How did he stop other dogs stealing food from him? How did he manage hunger? How did he manage thirst? All of these things which have brought him to this point, which quite clearly is equated to him having a psychological damage to everything. Not curable overnight, hence why we need time. But this <laughs> is a massive breakthrough. For him to just actively want to be near me and actively follow me without me tugging on this lead or without me forcing him to do it, he is making the decisions. We're giving him choices to do, okay? But also, he's walking past dogs in kennels and not attacking them. So, great progress and, yeah, guys, by all means rescue animals, but think with your heads not your hearts.